Hi everybody, it's Gethard, and I'm here, I'm in Austin, Texas, and it's really sunny and warm and nice, and I'm happy. And I just wanted to drop a video to talk about some uh, some stuff that we're doing with the show, specifically the fact that we're taking donations now, which I, I've kept low-key, and I've been trying to figure out sort of how to how to bring it up and how to explain why we're doing it. And I first wanted to say that last night, I had to miss the show, obviously, because I'm here in Austin, and I was going to, you know, just watch it by myself in the place where I'm staying and, and have a low-key night, and then I got a Facebook message from a guy named Kevin Feldman, and he was like, hey, a whole bunch of us, we're going to go get barbecue, and then we're going to watch your show, and I saw you tweet that you're in town, do you want to come watch the show with us? And I did, I went to his house, me and JD, we went to his house, and we watched it, and it was so cool, man, it was so cool, and I don't think those kids realized how cool it was for us, like, just sitting there with these guys, and they're... Uh, you know, they've got food for us, and we're watching this thing, and Kevin's telling us how he watches it every week, and how his other roommate just moved out, and his other roommate loved the show too, and loved Vacation Jason, and there's all these kids who show up at his house, because they watch this show, and they know this show, and they know everybody's names, Rob Malone comes on, they know Rob Malone, and, and uh, it's just awesome, it was just fun, it was really touching, and it means so much to me, it means so much that this kid in Austin could see the show we make in New York and realize, man, we got no place to watch it. Let me invite them into my home. And that really got me thinking, and that made me think that in light of that, today, maybe I, I can explain why we're taking donations now. Because for a long time, I resisted that. For a long time, I resisted taking money. I felt weird about taking people's money for nothing for the show but you know we just put up the election covers and that's 12 hours and that means between the regular episodes and the specials we've done the election specials and the web only content we've put up about a hundred hours of free content since we started the public access show and uh to me that feels like now is the time where maybe we can say a hundred hours that feels like a good marker where maybe i can say you know maybe now we explain what's going on uh, and, and, and bite the bullet and, and say we'd, we're willing to accept donations. And we put the link up quietly a few weeks ago. And just through the word of mouth of that, in, in about two weeks, we've raised over $900. And let me explain to you what we're going to use that $900 up for. First of all, we had a writer's meeting, and we all got really excited. And we're going we're gonna to get a storage space. We're going to get a storage space with that money in Manhattan. And we all got really excited about that to writers. And it sounds silly, but it's a very practical thing. And, and let me explain why. A storage space in Manhattan, that'll cost about $1,000 a year. And none of us have that money specifically. Everybody who organizes the show, we pay for it. Me and JD, we put out a lot out of our pockets. And everybody, Noah and Drew, buy tons of props. And, and it just kind of trickles down. And we all try to just like share the expenses. But a storage space, that's a big expense that none of us can really afford on our own and it sounds so silly but think about this storage space is a central location that more people will have access to that a lot of people from the show can have keys to so that means a lot of people can go in and out and get props and get merchandise and we can store a drum set there for touring bands maybe if we can if we can get a storage space that's big enough and the equipment all the cables and wires those things can sit there and that means that the whole set of the show doesn't need to fit in the trunk of my car anymore we can have people access this thing, and, and there's a central location that they can get it from. Our show now, we can have a set that includes things that fit in the storage space, not just things that fit in the trunk of my car. And that's kind of huge when you're a do-it-yourself TV show. That's kind of huge for us. We now have this this place that people are going to be able to access without having to get into my house or JD's house, and they can get stuff there and bring stuff there. And if they need equipment they can go get it for a video shoot on their own and if, if I'm out of town or JD's out of town we don't have to drive around gathering all the stuff up and getting it to Jersey Dave's apartment or having Cotner uh, put it in his, in his apartment you know like that really helps that's a real practical thing that a bunch of people from the show's community donated money to you and that's a thing that we will have now and that's huge for us that's huge for us it sounds so silly to say storage space is huge but the fact that the community surrounding the show just paid for a storage space for us that's huge that's a huge thing and a practical thing so i wanted to break down to you guys exactly what your money will go towards if you do choose to donate to the chris gethard show and any amount helps man we've had donations as small as ten dollars we had one no donation from a guy he, he gave us three hundred dollars and that's amazing that's amazing that someone would put that amount of money towards the show and i thought long and hard about it and it's like you know what people are very happy to be a part of this community and they're they're happy to be a part of what we built and this is a way to let them say 
the community you guys are building with the, the Chris Gethard show is a strong one and, and one that we think is important to exist and we want to help it exist and it means a lot to me you know when I when I meet a kid like Kevin in his living room and he's like hey man thank you for building the show it's a cool thing when I get emails from kids that are like you don't know it but your show is helping me it means a lot and I feel like accepting donations in a weird way is allowing them to say I'm a part of this community I want to be a part of that community I want to thank you for building this community and I can't be in New York I get to be a part of this community through this so I feel squeamish about accepting money but I also recognize that it's a way for people to lock in and be a part of that community so your money I want you guys to know that if you donate to the show it's going to go to more practical stuff like that like here's my long-term goal first Stuff that will allow the show to survive, like all the equipment that we need to buy, all the props we need to buy, that's what this money will go towards. It won't have to come out of the pockets of the people who make the show anymore. That's a big thing. It'll go towards things like that storage space. That's a really big thing. If we ever run into a situation again, like people who've watched the show for a long time know our live stream really stunk for a while and we had to eventually pay for it. That was 200 bucks a month. It came out of my pocket. I was happy to do it. But if m and didn't fix up their live streaming, I don't know how long I'd have been able to pay for that, 200 bucks a month on top of my rent and living expenses. It's not easy, you know, like I had a good year and I was able to do it, but I might not have a good year next year where I can put $1,200 towards live streaming the show. So infrastructure, things like that is what it will be there for. But then a little longer term, I want you to know we want to buy equipment that allows us to do it better and make things more autonomous, both our show as it now exists on public access and touring shows like we're doing touring shows now and I'm always like let's live stream them and I don't know anything about tech stuff and the guys who do have explained to me that's not easy you need a switcher if you want to do three cameras and have it be the same quality as the show you already have you need a switcher and an HD switcher you need a good one because technology will eclipse it you don't want to use it just for you know ten months you want it to be something you can use for a few years it's gonna be three or four thousand dollars so if we can build over time towards getting a switcher towards getting the hardware and software that allows to make phone calls you know to take phone calls on the air no matter where we are and it doesn't have to be dinky we can actually set up a phone call system these are things that'll cost us thousands of dollars down the line to buy all the equipment that we would need to sort of set up our own mobile studio but we want to do that. We want to be able to do touring shows from all over the country. We want to be able to set up spaces. And that brings me to our other, even longer term goal. And this is something that's a fantasy. And I don't know that we could generate the amount of money necessary to this. I'd love to have not just an office for the show someday, but an event space. An event space that all of you guys could be a part of. A clubhouse for the show. Someplace that would probably be way out in Brooklyn. Or you'd have to take some train line to some stop that you're like, man what is this you know it wouldn't be in a nice neighborhood but it'd be a clubhouse it'd be a place where we could set up our own studio we could take all that equipment we slowly amass over time and have a place where we could actually broadcast the show on our own and where you guys could come hang out and the difference between that and M&M would be we'd have this space we'd have this space we could work out of and like I said store everything out of get all the creative people from the show together actually sit down and plan the show not over email get our music bookers and our tech guys and our creative writers and our filmmakers all in one central location and make it this hub of creativity and then more than that make it a hub of creativity not just for TCGS but make it a place where you can see TCGS live any Wednesday at 11 and then maybe on Thursday night you come and you see a Mal Bloom acoustic concert our friend Mal Bloom we met through this show maybe one night you come and you see, you know, uh, you see uh, Malone and Haskell and 40-year-old Goosey screen a whole bunch of the films those guys make, show a whole bunch of the art projects they make around New York City, and then maybe uh, that Saturday night, Laura Stevenson and the Cans come and play, and maybe that, that Sunday, you get to see Vacation Jason workshop his bits for his next one-man show that he'll put up at the UCB Theater one day. Maybe our community can use a space. I, I just love the idea that there could be a central location we could all hang out in. And that would be a huge long-term goal for me, and it would be something really magical and hard to pull off and expensive, and you'd have to deal with the permits of New York City, and you'd have to deal with realty in New York City, and, and it would be tough. But it's something I really think could be an amazing thing. We built this community, and I love knowing that you could donate to that, and to me that is something tangible. You might give us $5, which would mean so much, and then in a couple years, if you give us $5 and you live in Atlanta, or Colorado and you're visiting New York City for one day you can drop by this location and you can see some cool art happening and you can say to yourself I helped build this thing man I helped build this thing that's an amazing thing to me it could be a TV studio and an event space where we could put on music and comedy 
and show films and embrace all the different artistic, creative people in New York City who have made the Gethard Show an environment and a, and a, a platform, a staging ground for their work. I would love that. And then obviously the longest term goal is I can't imagine that we'll ever generate enough money through donations that some of the people through the show could supplement their income with it. But there's so many creative people who call this show home and I'd love to make their the ones who have full time jobs, I'd love it if that they could make those part time jobs. And the Get Third Show could put a little money in their pocket. If we as a community could say like, Hey, like Shannon O'Neill, man, that's one of my best friends. That's like my sister at this point. She teaches improv class and tours all over the country doing doing shows. She hustles so hard and I wonder if we could go, you know, we're gonna donate this money and maybe down the line we donate we generate enough income. We make enough money through the show's pursuits and through donations that we could say, Shannon this can't be your job. We can't make it your job, but we can give you some breathing room. Hey, the LLC, these guys are all in bands. Hallie's been in bands. Bill's in bands. Johnny runs a label. Joe's in bands. All these guys are in bands, and they're part of this music scene. Maybe we could say we can't make the music you guys do your job. We can't make the LLC your job, but we can make it a little bit more your job. Mimi, we can make it your job to, to, to do hula hoops. Not your full job, but we can give you some breathing room. And obviously, that would be years down the line. Obviously, that would be a hard thing to do, but this is a community... And supports each other. I've I've eaten at the dinner tables of people all over the country who watch this show. I've watched this show from people's living rooms. I've walked across the march country. I've met you guys. There's a certain type of person that likes this show, and it makes me so proud that this show is is a, a place where a certain type of people can feel at home and feel creative and. The fact that you guys want to support it means the world. We put out a hundred hours of content, and I'd love to put out a hundred more. And maybe we can just do it more and more right down the line. And, and maybe it's time for me to admit to myself that it's almost sort of selfish and greedy for me to not let people contribute to this community in ways they want to. People ask if they can donate money, and I've continuously said no. And it's made me sort of think and say, that presupposes that this community is mine, and it's not. It's something that I planted the seed for, and it's grown into something very different than what any of us thought it would be. And maybe it's selfish of me to tell people they can't contribute, because their ability to contribute marks their ability to say that it's theirs, to mark ownership of it. If they contribute money, if you contribute money, you literally are reminding us that you own this show, you own this community, and you want to help build it from the ground up. So that's what we're thinking, and I hope it's not presumptuous, and I hope it's got a good heart and the best of intentions. And like I said... The main goals are to keep the show going and to help improve the infrastructure of the show and our ability to do it. And the down-the-line goals are to turn it into something even bigger, to give it a permanent home of its own. And maybe someday, years down the line, to allow some of the people working on it breathing room so they can just be creative. They can find more opportunities to be creative and have to hustle a little less hard in the pursuit of doing so. And... and uh, most of all, thank you. Thank you guys all who support the show and who like the show. And it's you guys. It's sitting in a living room with Kevin Feldman that reminds me how much I love doing this show. It's getting emails from you guys, talking to you guys on Tumblr, getting every opportunity to look people in the eye and remember that the fact that I built this show and people have embraced it means that I'm not such a lonely, sad sack piece of shit. There's other people like me out there, and, and I don't even know if any of us know how to verbalize exactly what this thing is and, and what type of people we are that like it, but it means everything to me that we exist and we're out there. So I want to just sort of spread the word and mobilize. If you can offer anything, even a dollar, it means the world. And if you can't offer anything and you still watch our show, that means the world. No harm, no foul. So thank you guys so much. I love this community. I love you all. We'll talk soon.